In today's video, we are going to explain how to combine the wonderful Avila, Salamanca and Segovia in a single trip. Hola, I am Tony Galvez from Road Trip Spain and Portugal, where we help you plan the perfect trip with practical information and insider tips. When we record the videos we already have on the channel dedicated to Avila, Salamanca and Segovia, we said that in the future we would record a video explaining how to visit the three cities on the same trip departing from Madrid. Well, the time has come to present this tour of three extraordinary Spanish cities declared World Heritage Sites by UNESCO. Three cities in Castilla y León that form a magical triangle that we are going to try to cover in a four-night, five-day trip. Let's start. On the first day, in the morning, you will travel from Madrid to Avila. By train you will depart from Principe Pio station and an hour and a half later you will arrive at Avila train station. By bus you will depart from Estación Sur de Autobuses and also an hour and a half later you will arrive at Avila bus station. Settle into your accommodation and go out for lunch, your first taste of the local gastronomy. In the afternoon take the opportunity to visit the magnificent cathedral and stroll along the extraordinary city walls, not forgetting to finish the day by watching the sunset at the Cuatro Postes. You will sleep that first night in Avila. The next morning visit those places you didn't get to see the day before, such as the magnificent Royal Monastery of Santo Tomás or the Basilica of San Vicente. Have lunch again in Avila. The second stage of the journey begins. You will travel to Salamanca in the afternoon. If you go by train, you will leave Avila train station and one hour and 12 minutes later, you will arrive at Salamanca train station. If you go by bus, you will depart from Avila bus station and one hour and 30 minutes later, you will arrive at Salamanca bus station. Settle into your accommodation. There is no shortage of wonderful places to visit in Salamanca, starting with the Plaza Mayor, continuing with the university and never forgetting the cathedrals. To be able to explore Salamanca at your leisure, you will have the first afternoon, a full day and the morning of the last day. Take the opportunity to have lunch in Salamanca on your last day in the city. We are in the final stage of the trip. In the afternoon, you will travel to Segovia. If you go by train, it will take you an hour and 11 minutes from Salamanca train station to Segovia Guiomar station. As this station is far from the center, you will have to take a bus from the station to the center. If you were to go by bus, it will take you almost three hours from Salamanca bus station to Segovia bus station in the city center you will arrive in Segovia in the afternoon. You could take a delightful walk to the Pradera de San Marcos to see the Alcázar from an incredible perspective and then return to the center to see the aqueduct lit at night. The next morning, take the opportunity to continue touring Segovia. You'll have lunch in the city, do some sightseeing you might have missed earlier in the afternoon and at the end of the day, return to Madrid. By high-speed train, it will take you 26 minutes from Segovia Guiomar station to Martin station. Remember that to get to Segovia station you will have to take a bus. If you go by bus it will take you one hour and ten minutes from Segovia bus station in the city center to the Intercambiador de Moncloa in Madrid. This is our proposed itinerary for those who want to have an overview of three magnificent cities near Madrid. Remember, it's a fortnight proposal. The first night in Avila, the second in Salamanca, the third again in Salamanca, and the fourth in Segovia. When would be a good time to make this trip? To be honest, any time of the year would do, but it's worth being aware that the seasons are quite distinct, especially in a city like Avila, the Spanish provincial capital located at the highest altitude. Take a look at the monthly annual temperatures in Avila. It is quite cold for many months of the year, with temperatures very close to negative values in the period from November to April. Summer is quite pleasant. If you are planning to visit the region in winter, take warm clothes. What if you want to complete the itinerary by car? No problem, the distribution of days would be identical and the only detail you will have to pay attention to is to look for accommodation with parking as driving and parking in the historic centers of Avila, Salamanca and Segovia is very complicated. If you plan to do the route by car during the winter months, you should be aware that snow on the road is not an unusual occurrence. You should carry chains in your vehicle or fit winter tires. 
In the description of the video, we will place links to the companies that provide the transport services we have mentioned in the video. Throughout the video, we have mentioned some attractions of the three cities. But don't forget the three videos we have already dedicated to Avila, Salamanca and Segovia in the channel, where you will be able to know many more details of each of these destinations. That's it. If you have any doubts about the subject of the video, the comment box is at your disposal. You will see now on the screen a video that we think will be very useful in planning your trip to Spain, with valuable tips to make your trip even better. Don't miss it. Até mais, hasta la próxima, see you soon.